So we can start right, uh, right now about our <clears throat> discussion, how you all, those who are there, how you found the conference and to have some chat together for a few minutes, if that is possible. And you can turn on, I mean, you can uh, <clears throat> unmute yourself uh, so that <clears throat> we can have open discussion together. And you can open your cameras also if you would like. So, because so just a, you know, introductory session just to be, I mean, a session that we can chat together, how you found the conference. Personally, I listened to paper. I mean, very good papers were presented, motivating, very uh, scholarly productions that I saw. Uh, in the conference, uh, those papers who were uh, uh, presented. And one thing which I listen, learned from that was uh, perhaps, you know, the secret could be known <coughs> the multiplicity the way he has created. So go ahead, anybody wants to comment on the conference? And also the next could be in next for 10 minutes. What do you think uh, topic for the next conference? Any ideas you have? Any? <clears throat> so Mohammed Smith is here, and he will be. Um, yep, <laughs> Elizabeth, how are you doing? Hi. To hear you. I, I, I was talking to two other participants, who and w the three of us agreed that we want to meet in Rome next year for part two of this conference. Dr. Father Jason Willie is there. He would love that. So you want well, to, let's plan it. So you want to do the part two of that. If you want yeah, to do part two of that, no, the, the, the funny conference. thing is here during the um, during the lockdown at the beginning of the COVID stuff, the the hashtag that Italians were always batting around was Io resto a casa. I'm like I'm staying home. <laughs> and you tweet this at your friends to gin up support for the fact that we should promote public health by staying home. So I mean, if the uh, if the conference happens in Rome next year, you know, io resto a casa. <laughs> Benvenuti. <laughs> but, uh, if it worked yeah, out that way, it would be a joy to see Jason, you. Really, you stayed for the whole conference. It's almost uh, morning in uh, or midnight. That's fine. Father Martin and I are still with you. This has been fun. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would suggest that people could put their suggestions in the chat. If you would like to suggest future topics, um, that's a way you can um, get that to us. Put things in the chat. Okay, Dr. Shafik, um, right. the students were spent like five minutes discussing it yesterday, and the, the, because this is so vast and so deep a theme, that there should be a part two, and the part two should be in Rome. I just said it for the three of us, Elizabeth. <laughs> So Elizabeth and uh, Saida, you both go for part two of this. Yes, we do. Okay. You know, if we want to do part two, then we will not publish the paper of part one yet till we do the second conference and then see whether we publish two volume or what we do. That's good. That's, that's fine. okay. Yeah. For me, I mean, I, that's the way I think about it. I don't want to uh, presume to be other people's voice. Yeah. I see, I see. <clears throat> How do you feel about Zakia? About what? Uh, not being uh, published possibly as a result of this conference. Whatever is best, I just want this theme to continue because I felt, although it had its benefits, but I felt that, that uh, I really miss, I think we all did, that, that, that like the chat like this, we don't have to limit it to 15 minutes because some other people are being stuck with it. We can always uh, discuss it. I mean, you get to meet like-minded people or uh, people you can discuss. We learn from opposing views a lot more than with agreeing views actually. So, uh, and that, that's, that, that's, I missed, I mean, we all miss so much. So. And this theme was the best theme so far. And then we, we were so limited with this virtual thing. And, and I don't know. I, know. You know, also, I would suggest you that. You say that what happened, uh, Elizabeth. You see, I thought the friars are holy people 
and they will pray and nothing will happen. COVID will go away. Actually, the, <laughs> perhaps they prayed, but their prayers were not accepted. So you can see the, the friars because this was, I was motivated by the meeting of St. Francis and Sultan and then uh, the Nostra Aitar and the wow. way things happen. I thought this is the best way and we will spend a night or a day and St. Francis. Right. Anyway, that is a good idea, but uh, you know, we delayed it, delayed it. Finally, we have to do online, but second idea is a good idea. I think uh, we will put it before the conference committee. Some of the members are there already. If uh, you're going to- I, If I can call, okay. If you're going if I can to follow yeah. up, we could we would be responsible for writing another paper too. What do you say, Sonny? Uh, and the <laughs> second and the second paper will be not you know not related to the first. It'll be a different take. Right. And uh, that way, the committee has that many more things to choose from, and we'll expect some richness, uh, a very rich volume, because all of us have, uh, and more people will have produced uh, two uh, scholarly documents. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to trouble all the editors. That's what I'm doing. No, so what I would suggest, if you're going to go in that direction, given what is going on in the world, given where we have been the past year and a half, and what yeah. next year is going to look like, I would suggest that we go back to these teachers, to these myths, to these um, teachings, to Rumi, to all of the things that we've had and relate their teachings specifically to serious problems in our world and try to really do, I know y'all know the phrase, tikkun alum, to really try to, yes. to better our world through our teachings of faith. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Professor Andrea, how are you today? You have to unmute yourself, Professor Andrew. Yeah, he's... Um... All right, any other comment? Anyone want to say something about... So, sorry about that, uh, Mohammed. Very good to see you. Thank you. You too. Also, I miss you a lot, I think. <laughs> I, I was thinking to come to a Canadian... I hope... You, I, but... <laughs> I, I hope... I hope uh, we can. You won't be too busy in the in the maybe weeks or months ahead. Uh, I'd like to speak with you. I'll, I'll write you a note. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. It's a good company I have. In addition to ideas for t future topics, if you would like to discuss institutional partnership and present oh, the conference, if you would like to consider hosting the conference, we would be happy to discuss that with you. You know, we've held this conference in Istanbul and have high hopes of going to Rome. So uh, we're quite, uh, quite open to taking this show on the road. Yes, yes, uh, yeah. I think uh, that's that's a wonderful, that's a wonderful um, idea. And uh, um, as I will be telling you, uh, we've had some misfortunes at our place, and uh, um, I'll, I'll write I'll write to you about them. Uh, when, when uh, you have some more time after the conference, but it's a delight. I can't tell you how, how, how refreshing and invigorating this, this has been uh, to be back. It's, it's almost like for, for many of us who've done this before, it's like a, it's like a homecoming, you know? Um, right. And uh, uh, yeah. the, community, the community keeps growing. There's, there's always new, faces and new people and I think it's a it's a tremendous uh, you know the, the 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 presentations the interaction it's so rich uh, it really has grown over the years uh, and um, and I think uh, all all the credit you know to the organizers because you've really uh, tapped into uh, 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 a need and you are giving you're, this this creates a kind of um, uh, venue for people to uh, come together and to create wonderful things uh, together. It's it's um, it it really is very moving for me, you know, to 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 be part of this. Um, I don't know if um, anyone you you were talking about themes and uh, I. 
Um, don't know if anybody mentioned Alfana. Uh, we got discussing in one of the sessions earlier today about the, uh, of course, the self keeps, keeps coming up. What do you do with the self? You know, do you annihilate it? Do you suppress it? Do you um, kind of uh, overcome it? Do you um, uh, unself? Do you decenter and so on? So th these are these are questions that uh, uh, really um, uh, got us going for a for a good discussion. I noticed uh, the sessions were uh, being recorded, so I hope uh, if you if you have that opportunity that you'll be able to, um, uh, to see some of the sessions that, uh, that maybe you weren't able, yep. I mean, you couldn't do all the sessions, of course, but- I uh, think all of them has been recorded and we may place it on our website. Yes, that would be, that would be wonderful. Um, so anyway, this, uh, this theme did, uh, did come up and uh, um, I think that, um, uh, there's, there's never any shortage of ideas for, for future topics. I'm sure you have some of your own, you know, so, yeah. Dr. Jason, uh, Reverend Jason, I want to hear from you. This is uh, how you uh, found the conference and uh, how is everything? Hi, well, thank you so much. I, I uh, want to say that as a first timer, I can't overstate how delighted I am. I mean, I am, I am just invigorated and, and I'm so grateful to, um, I mean, I was blown away by many of the papers and even more so by, by some of the discussions. And um, I, I also am, am leaving, I have at least two papers. One in particular is um, within an analog I found in one of my sessions about Luther's mysticism in dialogue with, um, Sufism. Um, and so I'm, I'm just so grateful to everyone and, and for the opportunity to take part. So um, th thank you, Muhammad, for calling on me and thank you to everyone for your, your incredible work and time. It was, it was an absolute delight. And, and you, those who are, um, Barbara, would you like to say, I want to hear from some of you who have not, um, I mean, who may be new, but uh, some of you are not new, but anyway. Uh, Barbara, would you like to yes. comment? I loved it. I loved being in New York a few years ago, but uh -huh. I miss us being together. We, some of us tried, and thank you for allowing us a few minutes after a session to chat, mm. and we could have done it. Oh, we could have had pasta and coffee, and we could have talked for hours, but I'm so inspired, and it brought me back to some, I have forgotten the gentleman's name who talked about art. I love the interaction of spirituality and art. And it inspired me to go back and do more study on that. Of course, I love poetry, but the art, um, I, I'm excited. I, I wanna keep going. I want to keep working on this. I, I think that was Rabbi Zedek, I believe. Great, thank you very much. Next. Before, no, I think she was in the session I was in. I think you're talking about Ori Salthus. Yeah. Mm. So one of the topics that I had suggested and were several people, I, I, I am awful. I think it would be a really interesting testimony to the group, to the process and a show of maturity. <laughs> if we could have a conference based on what are the most difficult concepts in our various religious faith communities to explain to others how do we like i remember last uh time we were together at the very end the last session this gentleman had done an amazing thing on jihad and how it's misunderstood and how it should be translated and just focused on that and i can't tell you how many times i have pulled those notes out and used them in multi-faith settings and in various teaching environments um, where i'm lecturing so I would love to see us identify what are the most difficult aspects of our faiths, of our beliefs, of our systems, of our texts. How are they misunderstood or what problems do they create and how do we negotiate those? And what are some of the ways that we can try to figure out how to use them properly? 
That's a very good topic, Sandra. That's very nice of you. Uh, Brother Christian, what do you think? Are you questioning everybody? Christian one is there. I thought if he Christian. publishing a book also on uh, uh, pluralism, I believe. Christian, are you there? All right, next person. Is there anyone who wants to comment? Next one. Uh, what happened? Say that you want to say something? Say that you want to speak or? Okay, no, uh, when, when Sandy was, Sandra was asking difficult concepts, uh, I find it very difficult to, to, for people, to, especially the Westerns, to understand the concept of Abd, Rabudia. So uh, mm -hmm. right away it's just surfaced. That it's such a beautiful, for a Muslim, the glory, if the glory is being the perfect Abd, then that is, uh, uh, you know, I'm working on that to explain. Thank you. Questions. Uh, Professor Jaffrey and Martin, would you like to comment? It looks like, uh, yes, Professor Jaffrey. Sorry, yeah, I'm driving. Can you hear me? Oh, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, I, I very much enjoyed it. I mean, it's, it feels like a a community of uh, kind of like-minded scholars, and um, that's always really nice. I, I would have definitely uh, enjoyed much more to be together in person, um, and the idea of, of Rome sounds great. I'm here in Rome, Georgia, uh, but I've never been to Rome, Italy, and that seems like a wonderful place to hold a conference like this so if it happens i'd i'd like to like to be there i appreciated what mustafa gokchuk said earlier today he said that in this conference we're satisfying our minds and our spirits but the only thing missing is the stomach and hopefully <laughs> god willing next time we'll be together in an even more completely satisfying experience we will have very good food wherever we are inshallah <laughs> we got to make up for everything that we didn't eat we missed those <laughs> these two years so in the next one we got to make up for all of that <laughs> personally i have to compensate for my lack of for my absence you know, in the conference <laughs> so i will you know we'll have a a good, good, uh, hopefully things are okay next year. And we will decide together, the conference committee will meet soon or um, a lunch or dinner. And then we will decide what, what would be the next step to do. I, I didn't understand whether Jason was inviting us back next year to Rome or not. Okay. I didn't understand his cryptic reply because I wanted to hear him saying, oh, we're so happy to invite you back. Let's just do this again. I didn't really translate what he said properly. For, for, for Franciscans tend to be cryptic. We've been working on it for 800 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one, one year from this point, inshallah, I will still be in my current job. <laughs> and if the, okay. uh, and if, the uh, if the conference committee decides that they would like to hold the event in, uh, in, in Rome, I'll, uh, I'll talk to Father Diego about that. My suspicion is that we would be, uh, we would be very willing to, to host it again. But, uh, but I cannot put the cart before the horse because I am not the decision maker. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I would like to, to, to say this in front of everyone. I, I, I suggest that we detach the discussion of site from the discussion of theme from the discussion of publication. 
So in that uh, in that sense, um, you know whether wh whether many of the people that uh, that participated in this conference would like to come to Rome, for uh, for example, that doesn't necessarily mean that mysticism has to be the theme. <laughs> mysticism is what I do. I'd be very happy about it, <laughs> but uh, but but it's not a necessary uh, it's not a necessary connection. Uh, I mean, an another issue is that I, I suspect there are some people that have presented papers that uh, would really like to see a volume come out in the meantime. <laughs> rather than wait uh, rather than wait a year and right. uh, and we, we should honor that for the the scholars that would like to publish sooner rather than later so uh, I'll, I'll leave Bye. it at that <laughs> any other uh, comment something that uh, yes, at six o'clock yes hello did you want to say something yeah uh, We've been talking about uh, other uh, possible topics for next year, right? Um, during the committee meeting, uh, including the question of racial prejudice that is really, really uh, very high among us. But I'm also uh, right now kind of uh, being convinced with the idea that mysticism uh, would be still a good topic to explore. And so uh, I was wondering about combining um, this dimension uh, of our religion and that is mysticism and other uh, more pressing issues to discuss. And so it's mystical perspective on how to address, for example, the question of uh, racial issues or other social problems. Good. Before we before we depart, we must uh, please um, again acknowledge the people who've worked so hard behind the scenes, the, the ones who've done the heavy lifting to um, prepare for the conference and uh, get it running so smoothly. That's Trish LaPel and Julie Welch and Anastasia Tahoe. Uh, they've done a great job. And uh, the uh, IT has done also a very good job. Uh, David Weiss was always nice. to, you know, to help us uh, in everything. But you know, also Dr. Donald Smith has been the backbone of all these things. Because of my issues, he tried his best to keep things moving without any disruption. So uh, that was really great. So. Yes. You'll be the heart and soul, and uh, I'll sometimes be the hands. <laughs> so, I think is uh, no comment and nothing else. Uh, I thought if somebody would like, especially I mentioned Martin, uh, Kristen. Um, Kristen is a publishing book on racial issues, actually. Um, or do you would like to say something? Uh, only that uh, this was a very enjoyable conference. <laughs> I, and I think the subject is is very relevant, since uh, mysticism is an aspect of our various traditions that naturally lends itself to thinking across denominational lines, and therefore naturally lends itself True. to. Um, I don't know if there's ever a solution because of how complex we are as a species, but toward amelioration of some of the fragmentation and um, negative complications that uh, we are all participants in as a species. So I, it's a great topic. However, subset topicized it becomes. <laughs> right. Uh, Uri, I think this was, uh, you had been in our conference before also. I think. No, no, I had hoped so, of course to be in Rome like everybody else last year. Oh. But, uh, so this was actually my first my first time at, at the Hiki conference. Okay. Welcome. I hope you stay with us. So do I. Thank you so much. Welcome. Uh, Barbara, any comment you want to make again? Um, no, but thank you so very, very much, both to Dr. Welly and to uh, Dr. Donlan Smith, to Dr. Shafiq, all the people who, mm -hmm. who moderated were excellent. The papers were inspiring. And I cannot thank you enough, all of you who 
uh, presented and, and pull this together. It was absolutely amazing. Even on Zoom, to be with people from around the world, that's amazing. Dr. Singh is with us and he presented a very good paper. I heard from a lot of people. Dr. Singh, how are you? What happened? I thought it was... Um, uh, uh, I don't have Dr. any Sadi. topic to suggest at the moment, but I enjoyed uh, sharing the papers uh, in uh, various sessions. I think I could attend uh, three sessions and uh, it was a very good conference and thank you for all participants. Thank you, Dr. Akhtar Sadiqi. Good to see you. Dr. Singh, are you there? That is there. He was just came in. Dr. Singh. Yeah, Dr. Grinder Singh. Yes. Okay. All right. How Thank are you, my <laughs> friend? It's good to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a sort of new kid on the block, but the, the warmth mm -hmm. of the, uh, I think, conference pretty much came clearly to me. And what I'd like to say is that we would, I'd leave the themes to you and I'll be delighted to bring in the sick aspect of that. You know, whatever theme you decide, I'll be very glad to bring in the sort of what the six I have to say on that. But what I'd like to, to say is that Amrit, sir, please, we are thinking, if we are thinking of the sites, uh, December is okay. I mean, uh, given the sort of hope that things are going to settle down, India is through great difficulty at this point, but uh, they are going to, things would calm down. Please keep Amrit, sir, as one of the possible sites and uh, we are, you know, 26 people. I am sure um, things could be worked out uh, to take you all there and uh, introduce you to, to, to my people uh, and give you some idea of what they are all about in addition to conversation about them. So please keep that, uh, you know, on the agenda uh, if that... Uh, could be made possible. And thank you very much, Professor Shafi. Um, I am sort of, I see this as very important, getting in touch with, uh, with your group and sort of looking forward to your activity and see if I could bring something uh, to the plate. Thank you. Thank, thank you very, thank much. very thank much. You. Thank, thank you. you. Sat Sari Akal. Mohammed, could you uh, somehow make a list of all the emails that have been provided in the chat or the, of people who are willing to release their emails so that we can have their addresses yeah. uh, to everyone? We do have uh, emails of everybody. Oh, okay. That's right. Is there a necessity of asking each participant who did not post it freely uh, listed their email to ask the other people for permission to release it to other members. Yeah, actually, we had more participants in the conference. I didn't see that more than 50 people participated at one time. Mm -hmm. We had about, uh, Julie, we had about um, some 50 uh, presenters, uh, then the moderators, then uh, those who just uh, registered to be participant were over 70, I believe. So, you know, but we have the emails and everything. I think maybe they participated in some, they did not participate in others. 
Well, people are listing now as you speak their emails personally. So I think we can trust that those people wish to reach out to other people who participated in the conference. Uh, my, my worry is, um, you know, needing permission from all of those who have not personally provided their email because they're on your list, sir, but whether or not they wanted to be contacted by other members of the conference or not is still, you know, not known. I, I don't know. I just think about issues of privacy. I think yes, there's an easy true. resolution to this. I'm sure that Dr. Shafiq, in his very organized and gracious way, as always, will send some kind of end note email to everybody. Uh, make sure you still have the event. going out at 7 o'clock, Sandra. And um, yeah, exactly, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and in that, you can just say, uh, we would like to make emails available uh, if you want to opt out or if you, you know, do it either way, either let us know or if you want to opt out, let us know. That's all. Right. No, we will share information together and stay together. I'll look for it at 701. <laughs> right. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank and you. Um, I really appreciate to be uh, that you are part of this conference hearing you presenting papers or moderating the conference uh, or whatever in whatever capacity you did. And I'm also actually thankful to my team, uh, those who worked very hard to make this conference successful and Professor Donald Smith. Thank you, have a good night and we will be in contact. Thank you.